Welcome to the Healthcare Provider Happy Hour. This is a safe space where we invite healthcare providers to unapologetically be themselves after the working day. My name is Jennifer George, and each week I will connect you with guests and stories that will help transform your stress to success and fulfillment. Are you with me? Grab your drink of choice and let's chat. Hey everyone, welcome to the Healthcare Provider Happy Hour. I'm your host, Jennifer George, and I'm joining you this morning with a post-run shake. I want to chat with you a little bit about my run today. So um, I really wasn't feeling it, to be honest. It's been a long week, and I was quite tired by the end of the week. And I thought, no, I'm going to do this because I, I want to do it more than anything, and I know how much better I'll feel once I'm done. But that's aside the point. I managed to go outside and I took a look at the water because I live on the water and I could see how windy it was and I could see the waves and the current moving more um, east and could see that there would be more resistance going west. So I thought to myself, am I going to run with the wind for the next five kilometers or am I going to run against it? And what I decided was to do both. I decided I was going to first run against it gain my mental toughness, release energy that's pented up, and then eventually go with the waves or go with the wind and let that carry me through. And then I thought to myself, well, this is a great analogy for the working healthcare professional because how many times in your day, let alone your life, do you encounter waves of resistance or the wind in your face at work? right? There's many um, interactions, especially, you know, there's things that go unplanned that pop up or things that do go as planned that, you know, wish didn't. (laughs) Whatever it might be, there's always some form of resistance throughout the day, right? And some days it feels like that's all you're doing is going against the resistance. And then by the end of your working day, And by the time you get home, you are exhausted. You just want to lay down on the couch, perhaps. You just want to not think for a moment, not react to anything, and just veg out. Completely understandable. I've been there. And to to be honest, healthcare has been quite heavy over the last few weeks, especially with the second wave coming through of COVID-19, I think. And you can feel it in the system and, you know, among everybody. And so that's that's healthcare. This is the wave we're riding right now. And I want to just say that if you are going through something right now, okay, and it feels like you are constantly going through resistance and you're constantly trying to figure out what's best for you, you can't really create what's best for you until you've gone through these resisted, resistant moments. You know, within, when I first started practicing in my first five years, that's all I experienced was resistance. And eventually I had to surrender to what was, okay? So in my case, it was a lot of uh, mismatch of core values, okay? And for me, it was like that mismatch I took personally. I thought it was my, my competency. I thought it was me, right? And until I realized it wasn't me, and it was just that this was not a good fit, did I realize that I could create what it was that I wanted for my life. So these waves of resistance, this wind in your face, really, you can think of them as whispers. And they start to just pop up in your life, right? And you see them every day and you see them and you see them, you either ignore them or you work around them. I recommend you work around them um, because what happens is if you continue to see them but you ignore them, eventually they become, you know, louder and louder and louder. And then it gets to the point where you're like, how did I get here? How did I get here? 
And it seems like not only professionally have things unraveled, but also personally, right? So things start to, to pour into your personal life. So think about things for a moment in the sense that we have to accept and expect conflict to come into our lives as healthcare professionals every single day. Okay, we just have to expect it. Then we make the choice as to whether or not we can resolve things in the moment and improve them, or we just have to accept them for what they are for right now before something can change. Okay, so if you are in a place right now where you are finding that you are just resistance mode, I guess you can say, where it feels like you're on a streak of it and nothing is going in your favor, I want you to write down what these waves of resistance are for you. And then I want you to write down on the other side or in another column next to it, waves of opportunities, okay, that you can see yourself around these. Because I'll tell you right now, if you are going to try to go headstrong against resistance like I did in my earlier years of practice, it only made me feel worse. Okay, it only made me feel worse. I had to learn that things are the way they are. I had to learn that people are the way they are and that I can't change that no matter what. And so the only option was for me to change the way I am, the way I practice, and align myself with what is in flow with who I am. And once I started doing that, waves of opportunities started to open up. Speaking of which, I've most recently connected with some amazing healthcare professionals, particularly in the field of physiotherapy here in Ontario. Uh, Nick Hanna of Hanna Moves on Instagram, Emma Jack of Press Play Physio as well on Instagram and Jim Millard, he's a PT at Body Mechanics in London, Ontario, and his um, handle on Instagram is also Jim Millard. And about a year ago, after I wrote my book, I connected with these three amazing individuals and we met and we brainstormed and we discussed what we, what we wanted for our livelihoods, right? And what we wanted for our lives and our profession and for other clinicians. And as a result, a year later, actually more than a year later now, we have created what we call the WAVE. And it's a coaching program and it's self-guided, but it also includes, um, it also includes community calls and connections with us as well. And it's just meant to support you as a healthcare provider where you're at right now to overcome and manage your burnout or your fatigue or your uncertainty, whatever resistance that you're going through right now, and create your own wave, okay? Create your own flow around that. And so basically there's four modules. They're self-guided modules with worksheets attached. And then in each module, we will be doing live calls with you to further go deeper with you and create a sense of community with you because the biggest thing that we all need to understand as healthcare providers in this culture of loneliness that we operate in is that we are not alone. If somebody looks like they have it all together, chances are they're trying to keep it together just like you are. And don't ever hesitate if you do see someone who does seem like they have it together or you see them attracting things in their life and are inspired by them, don't ever hesitate to reach out to them and ask them what they're doing, what they're up to. Because I'll tell you right now, um, they will tell you because they want you to succeed as well. They want you to find joy in your work as well. So if you want to reach out to me, if you're wondering how I'm doing all of this other stuff outside of my work, please do so. Okay, my Instagram handle's at best obsessed with Jen and we can talk about it. That's what this um, coaching program that we've all created 
is to do is to support you and make you aware of the fact that your life has meaning and you bring meaning to the life of others in their most vulnerable moments and that should be celebrated okay that is worth everything you are more than enough in your role as a healthcare professional you are more than just a healthcare professional you are a healing human being and you touch people's lives every single day and that is not to be taken lightly that is not something that just anybody can do we endure a lot and we find fulfillment in being present with others who are overcoming their own life's challenges okay so if you want to learn more about the wave coaching i highly recommend you check it out there are some freebies as well um, you can go to buildyourwave.com to connect with us you can sign up for our newsletter an email group too to stay connected stay updated and as well get your freebies and I think there's also a course outline if you want to take a further look at the four modules to see if this is for you. To be honest, I think every single human being can benefit from this program. And until you actually do that and until you actually see there are other healthcare providers who have struggled, who continue to struggle, but also continue to find their, their waves of opportunities through all of that rather than forcing themselves through resistance all of the time, you know, you'll really feel like you're not alone. You'll really feel like people are getting you and they understand you because chances are we are more alike than we are different. But we won't know that until we actually let ourselves be vulnerable to it and connect with others on that level. So check it out if you want to know more information as well. You can DM me again on Instagram at Best Obsessed with Jen. If you liked this podcast, please take a screenshot, share it, and I will do the same. And until we chat next time, remember to stay well and to stay happy and to build your wave. So if you guys like this podcast, please subscribe and leave an honest review. Your feedback means everything to me. Your reviews are what moves this podcast forward, and I always appreciate receiving them. If you want to get a hold of me directly, reach out to me on social media. My handles are in the show notes, and you can always subscribe to my weekly newsletters at jennifergeorge.co so that we can stay connected. So until next time, thank you guys so much again for your ongoing support.